So if you have a vehicle and you hear a hissing noise coming from the engine, I thought I'd go over some common causes of this, along with how you could go about finding out what the problem is. And so the most common cause of a hissing noise that's coming from an engine is going to be that there's a coolant leak, there's a vacuum leak, the exhaust is possibly leaking, there's a leak in the air conditioning system, or if the vehicle has a turbo, it might be having an issue. And the reason these are the most common things that cause hissing noises, because the things that have pressure that's escaping is going to be the main things that cause the hissing noise. And so one of the first things to ask is, is the engine light on? Because if the engine light's on, there might be a code on the computer that helps point to the issue. For example, if the engine light's on and you read the codes on the computer and the code that comes up is a P052E, positive crankcase ventilation regulator valve performance, then in that case, it's going to be a good idea to go check the PCV valve and be sure it's good. If you don't have a scan tool, a lot of automotive stores will scan the vehicle computer for free and tell you what the codes are. There's also a lot of low-cost scan tools. If you need a good low-cost OBD2 scan tool, I'll put a link down below. But basically the first thing, if the engine light's on, try to scan the computer for any codes because if there is, those might help point you to what the problem is. The next thing to check for is going to be a coolant leak. Basically, if you could go around the vehicle and just check to see if there's any kind of leaking fluid anywhere, like underneath the vehicle or blowing all over the engine or anything like this. You can also go and check the coolant level when the engine's cold. Be sure it's not hot because it's under pressure when it's hot. Be sure it's not empty because if it is empty, then there might be a leak somewhere. If you don't see no leaks, what you can do is you start the vehicle. If you hear a hissing noise while the engine's cold, then very likely that's not going to be the cooling system because the pressure inside the cooling system only really builds up when the engine gets hot. If the engine does warm up and then you start to hear a hissing noise, then it's going to be a good idea to go check out the cooling system or be sure there's no leaks going on. Sometimes a coolant leak won't be so obvious, although usually you could spot a coolant leak. Sometimes it can be small and hard to find. So one method many mechanics use is that they add in a coolant dye. And basically you add this in to the radiator. You start up the engine, you just let it run. And when it gets hot, if it does blow out a leak anywhere, you're going to be able to spot it much easier because the coolant dye makes it easier to see. But like I said, usually if there's a coolant leak, they're pretty easy to spot. But if there is a coolant leak, that can cause a hissing noise. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's a vacuum leak on the engine somewhere, also called the intake air leak. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through the throttle body right here. As the gas pedals press, this plate right here is going to open up and it's going to let more air go into the engine. And this is the only location that air should be going into the engine. But if air is getting in around the throttle body somehow, then that's going to cause what's called a vacuum leak. And this could be caused by a loose hose, a bad PCV valve, a bad gasket, things like this. So you can go up around the engine and check to see if you can't hear where the noise is coming from a little bit. Check all the hoses and be sure they all look like they're plugged in good. Don't have any cracks or anything like this. Although sometimes that can be kind of hard to do. Sometimes these leaks like this, they're hard to spot. One very common method that many mechanics use to find a vacuum leak is to use a smoke machine. And basically they feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out, they're gonna know that there's a leak. Then they're able to fix it. These smoke machines are fairly low cost items. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you want to check one out. You can also make these up yourself. There's a lot of videos on how to go about making one up yourself for like less than like 10, 20, $30, something like that. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of vacuum leak. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's an exhaust leak. If there is an exhaust leak, that can cause different types of noises with hissing being one of them. And so if you can, you can go check out your exhaust, check to see if you see anything leaking. Again, sometimes a leak can be fairly obvious, and then other times it can be harder to spot. One method to find a hard to spot exhaust leak is that you use a compressor, you feed air into the exhaust pipe, and then you use soapy water and you go around all the fittings and things like this. You spray around the flanges and the bolts and everything, anywhere anything connects. And if you see bubbles, then you know there's a leak. There's also some other ways to go about trying to find an exhaust leak. But if there is an exhaust leak, then that can cause a hissing noise. And the next thing that causes is that there's some kind of leak in the air conditioning system that the refrigerant is leaking out for some reason. When there is an AC system leak, usually the AC system is not going to be working or work for a little while and then stop or just be having some kind of issue. So if your AC is not working correctly, then there might be some kind of leak going on with it that's causing the hissing noise. You can go up around the AC system, check all the lines, the compressor, check to see if you see any kind of leaking going on. If you do think it has a leak and you can't spot it, there's also a dye that you could add into the AC system. You start up the vehicle, you let the AC run, and when it comes out the leak, you're going to be able to spot it much easier. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's a leak inside the air conditioning system. 
And the next thing that could cause this for vehicles that have a turbo is that if it's having some kind of issue, like it has a bad wastegate, there's a leak with the intercooler boot or something like that, then that can also cause a hissing noise. Usually when there is some kind of issue with a turbo like that, you're going to get a code. So for example, if you got like a P0299 turbo supercharger underboost or something like that, then it's going to be a good idea to go check out that turbo and be sure it's working correctly because the next thing on the list can be some kind of issue with that turbocharger. And some other things to mention is that it's often a good idea to go check out the PCV valve. These are really simple little devices that are usually easy to get to and low cost. And if one of these goes bad or something like that, they can sometimes cause a hissing noise. So it can be a good idea to go check out the PCV valve. And another thing to mention is that if the hissing noise, it only happens when you're driving down the road, like say you're going like 20, 30, 40 miles an hour or more, and you start to hear the hissing noise, be sure to check for like any kind of loose trim, the weather stripping and the door seals, along with the window seals and things like this. Because if there's something loose or something like that, then that can cause a hissing noise. But of course, that's only going to happen when the vehicle's moving. So the last thing to go and check for is going to be for any loose trim or like a bad window seal. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about finding a hissing noise that's coming from the engine. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.